Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Beanie TV. This is your girl Beanie. Um, so a few weeks ago, Kehlani, the singer, she tried to commit suicide, or she, yeah, she tried to commit suicide over who knows. The day before, me and my best friend were on the phone, and we were just like laughing at the memes that people were creating about like her and and party next door and her the basketball player i think his name is Kyrie, and we were just laughing because they had that uh mr mr crabs one where it's all like multi <laughs> like what what episode is that if someone can tell me what that episode is like please let me know so like you know the day before and i think everybody was just like laughing because they were just like what what is happening and then the next day, we found out that she, like, tried to take her own life. And people were focusing on, people were focusing on her uh, being a cheater and, and how the men were bashing her and whatever, whatever, and how men need to, like, deal with their issues and blah, blah, blah. But, like... Nobody was talking about the fact that this girl just tried to take her own life and how suicide is something that happens. And everyone was making it about the, the romantic relationship part. And I was just like fascinated that nobody was talking about that this girl wanted to end her life. And maybe they were. And I don't know, maybe they were and I didn't see it. But I was just like... I think that we've all been there where things just get so dark and suffocating and small and it takes one thing to make you just like go over the edge and I don't think that the situation that happened was why Kehlani wanted to take her life. I really believe that it could have been a build up build up build up build up build up and then that one thing and the viciousness of the internet took her to that next level and I only say that because when I was like 13 or 14 I seriously just contemplated taking my own life because I was just in this weird space of I don't, it was puberty it was hormones it was middle school it was feeling terribly uncomfortable in myself in the changes that were happening feeling so unwanted or unloved by my peers and just like lots of just things and I can remember it just building up building up building up and then one day I woke up I was getting ready for school I, w I woke up and I did not feel right and I was getting ready for school and I had like nothing to wear and um, I remember like my mom just saying like who cares what you wear the kids at school don't care like you need to just pick something and hurry up you're gonna be late and it was just like <laughs> it was just so much and then I just remember like crying and I could not stop crying I remember I was walking to the bus stop and I was playing my um my CD player and I just remember crying 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 and it was just one of those silent cries it was just no noise just silence just like it just pouring out of me I remember being on the bus and the kids on the bus being like Abina 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 what's wrong with her what's wrong and I was just so in that dark space I like I wasn't talking to anybody. I got to school and it just built up and I had to tell the teacher like I don't feel good. I need to talk to someone. And then I remember like being in the guidance counselor's office for like three hours just like talking about just wanting to like leave this earth and wanting to go. And I remember that entire day was just like, mm, it was just so much going on in my mind and I remember feeling a little bit better leaving school and then I get home and my grandma's like you know Abina are you okay like because obviously the school had called my mom and they had called my grandma 
and my grandma's like such a warrior so she was just like abina are you okay and i was like yes my head hurts but what i really wanted to say was my mind is killing me my mind is is overloading my mind feels like i'm not in control of it anymore my mind is telling me to take my own life and i don't know what to do about it that's what i wanted to say but i just thought i had a headache and um i just remember going to my room going to sleep and then like waking up and kind of overhearing a conversation my mom was having kind of just saying like oh well you know it happens a lot when when with kids her age so it's gonna be okay and i just wish that i had like someone to really really talk to you know because it's like again my family is gunny and th th that was a completely new thing you know like so and it's like the guidance counselors it's like no and i i just felt so i don't know i didn't feel alone i just felt cloudy i felt really cloudy i felt really suffocated i felt really just this dark place in my mind and like as i got older it got better but there were moments and i feel like i i can't be the only one there were moments where i was just like this is not worth it and it's like it doesn't even have to be anything any one thing it can just be build up build up build up and then it's like it can and then it's like oh no 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 it this is just too much this human experience is just too much and i feel like i'm not i can't be the only one i can't be the only one that feels that way you know and to see kehlani like i just like first i felt bad because i was just like the day before i'm laughing and then the next day i see that this young woman tried to leave the earth and the main reason i believe she survived is because she has a purpose on her life she's not just a singer entertainer there is something that god needs her to do in this world that she must complete and that's how I feel about anybody who has tried to take their life and survive it's like they slash you have something you have something big you have a big calling on your life and and God wants you to achieve that and and make that happen you know and anybody that knows someone who you know has committed suicide and has left this earth now it's I feel like it's up to you to share their story to help them help that person's legacy live on and and it's up to you to share their story with others because this is not something that people talk about at all i just couldn't believe that people were talking more about the relationships and who she was with who she was not than the fact that she tried to take her life and that there's something that she needs to I guess needs to work on or if there's something going on with her that made her get to that level and I know that like she's not the only one I'm not the only one you know and it's important to be transparent and it's important to tell our stories because we need others to know that they are not alone and that we're all in this together so if you ever like felt like that understand that there's like a huge calling on your life and that what you're feeling is going to get better it just takes a day at a time and i can't even sit here and be like oh you know think positive thoughts and stuff like that like you really just have to take it a day at a time but it does get better it will get better you know like eventually things do get better especially since you do have a calling and a purpose on your life it's not going to be like that forever you're not going to be in that dark suffocating place forever at all so you know i've never shared that story with anyone so i really hope that we can start a conversation about it and there's a difference between 
between seeing like oh this is gossip and really looking at it and being like okay this is a young woman just like you and i who an ordinary normal girl who has found herself in an extraordinary crazy situation and lifestyle who is going through something that a lot of us have either gone through know someone who's gone through that or is is connected to someone who's gone through that so we just got to send all of our light and love to Kaylani and just hope that everything gets better for her from here on now and she really understands the calling that's on her life so um, I thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next video